We're in our next to final weekend before this all important election where democracy itself hangs in the balance. I'm starting to hear from some people, you know, we're tapped out, we're out of gas, we've done everything we can. And I understand that we've all worked very hard, people have given a lot. But I also want to remind people about the history of this country. That it's at moments like this where the, the side that wins is a side that fights harder all the way till the end. You know, there's no better example of this than uh, how we fell from Reconstruction and a short moment of diverse democracy in the South to Jim Crow, the end of that democracy. And as C. Van Woodward, I write this in my book, as C. Van Woodward says, explains, the moment that fell to Jim Crow wasn't because of some momentary conversion of a lot of people. It came because of a, quote, relaxation of the opposition to those racist policies, an almost simultaneous decline in the effectiveness of restraint by those who oppose those new racist policies. What he and other historians are telling us is that it's moments like this. It's not some new thing that people are attacking democracy. The truth is, democracy, a diverse democracy in our country, has always been under assault. Let's call this our democracy index. There have always been people fighting for a variety of reasons to not allow a full, inclusive, diverse democracy in our country. That is not new. That is our history, whether we like it or not. But they don't determine the outcome. No, they don't determine the outcome. Who determines the outcome? Those fighting for democracy. If they fight hard, like those after the Civil War did, including Ulysses Grant, for those newly registered black voters, they prevail. That's how we had Reconstruction. If they relax, the forces that are always there attacking democracy succeed. What happened here? John Lewis, Martin Luther King, fought back hard. They overcame the forces that are always attacking democracy. And right now we're at a key po point where the attack is fierce. The question is, who are we? Are we in the likes of John Lewis and Martin Luther King? Or people like Ulysses Grant? Or are we the ones that lose our energy and lose to those attacking democracy? That's the question before us in the next 11 days. How do, you be, how do you join the ranks of John Lewis? Go knock on some doors. Vote early. Get everyone you can to vote early. And give whatever you can to candidates that are fighting so hard to save this democracy. Let's go.